I'd like you to visualize or imagine that our boss walks up to us one day, hands us a piece of paper and says, pop quiz, <laughs> please answer these questions regarding decibels and milliwatts. And when you're done, show your work as well. I want to make sure you understand these concepts. Are you ready for questions like that? Well, in this nugget, I'd like to help you prepare for questions exactly like that. Let's begin. The wrestling coach loved the actual underweight wrestler who was five feet tall and 82 pounds when he was 16. <laughs> and that was me. And the reason the wrestling coach loved it is because I could wrestle at that very light weight. And the reason I bring that up as part of this nugget is because in my first wrestling match, both I and my competitor both froze for a few seconds. We didn't know how to start. And in the environment, if we're asked questions about decibels and milliwatts, even though we've had some training on it in a previous nugget, I wanted to walk you through an example of applying that knowledge. In our scenario here, let's say we have this access point and our boss walks up to us and says, okay, this access point is currently operating at transmitting power of four milliwatts. I'd like you to increase that by six decibels. And as a result, what would the actual transmit power be on this access point if we increased it by six decibels? Instead of saying, oh my gosh, how do we start? Let's go ahead and take a look at what we know. Well, currently we're at four milliwatts, that's a given and we're going to increase it by six decibels. Now from our nugget on decibels and milliwatts, if you did the exercises with me, you'd know that plus 10 equals times 10, and plus zero is the same, and minus 10 is 1 tenth. We also know that it's not linear. So if we did plus three, for example, that would be times two, and if it was minus three, that would be 1 half. And that's an exercise that I asked you to go through with me in that nugget on decibels and milliwatts. So if we're taking a four milliwatt transmitting power and we're increasing it by six decibels, we know it's not gonna be times 10. So we know it's not gonna be 40 milliwatts of transmit power. So the increase by six decibels means what we could do is take the actual signal and because three goes into six one time, that'd be times two. And then because there's three left over, which means three would go into it again, that'd be times two again. So we could take four, the reference milliwatt transmitting power, and take it times two, which would be eight. Four times two is eight. And then that times two again, which would be 16. So our answer here would be the actual transmit power would be 16 milliwatts if we took a four milliwatt transmitting power and increased it by six decibels. So if we came to our boss and said, okay, the new transmit power would be 16 milliwatts, our boss would smile and say, great job. The next question our boss might ask us is, okay, what if our access point is currently operating at three milliwatts of transmit power, and we're gonna modify the settings to change it to 60 milliwatts of transmit power. What is the actual gain in decibel if we make that change? So we know that the decibel gain is gonna be at least 10. So we take three times 10, that'd be 30. And now the question is, are we gonna multiply it again by 10? And the answer is no, that'd be way too much because we're trying to get to 60 milliwatts of transmit power. So we know it's gonna be at least 10, and then taking that 30 milliwatts that we currently have, how do we get to 60? Well, to get from 30 to 60 is simply gonna be times two for 60. But I'd like you to remember one critical thing in that the scale is not linear. So zero equals zero, and three is times two, because it's not linear. So to get from 30 to 60 times two, it's actually another three decibels. And as a result, we'd have 10 decibels from up here plus three decibels from this multiplication times two, which would give us 13 decibel gain. So we could go back to our boss and say, well, if we change the transmit power from three milliwatts to 60 milliwatts, we're actually getting a gain of 13 decibel. And that would be the answer right here. So as an exercise, here's what I'd like you to do. Without the answers on the board here, I'd like you to walk through these and I'd like you to show your work. So get a scratch piece of paper and actually write these out and make sure you're comfortable in coming to the same exact answers regarding the transmit milliwatt power if we increase the signal by six decibels and how much we'd have to increase the decibels to get to 60 milliwatts. And with both of these equations starting off from four milliwatts and three milliwatts respectively. So enjoy that practice. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.